yo hello guys uh, welcome to another section of our video series uh the, the way i plan to go about this is that i will create like a video series if we're going to be talking on rigging on a section to be a series if we're going to be talking about animation on another section then you know it's going to, it's going to be like a prolonged series so you have uh, a number the video like video one video two and so on so but in this case um uh this is uh creating a blend shape uh based uh, facial rig as you can see on my screen here so uh, at the end of this tutorial you'll be able to like create a, a ui you know for for the for the rig for the facial rig which is uh, powered by blend shape so you'll be able to create all these controls and then they will be driving something on the face of the character obviously so let's go ahead and then play around with this and you see what each of them do so this is a mouth global then there's this smile and pout you know so it works simple if you copy a key from here to this place you know there's a kind of mirror thing with that then there's the jaw open you have something like this all these are blend shapes uh you have the open smile and then you have the squints you know um, they still lick them with the eye but all those things will be sorted and then there's the lower you know squints there and there's of course the brow you can raise the brow up up and down and then you can just still bring them like close together by squeezing it you know the squeeze feature there and then there's the frown you know you can use the brow to push down the smile about the frown you know, and so on then there's the worry uh the worry brow and it has a squeeze feature too you can do that so uh you have the uh, lip uh, roll you have something like this and you have something like this so if you move each of these you see what they do up and down up and down up and down up and down the same thing with this rolling and roll out so and then i think i this is more like uh movement of the mouth i've actually upgraded this part so but i think we'll be having a, a controller here that will be doing all that so then then you have the lead down you know and then you have the upper lead and then you have the blink feature on its own and then you have the eye advance the eye advance is more like when you bring the upper lid down and then you try to push this so you see this here so it's for uh, when you want to create like a squint thing when you push the brow down imagine if this was here you see you see that oh yeah which sometimes is not really very okay but when you have this advance you can always push it down and it's available for the uh, uh, down part of the of the eye too so that's like how this uh this works basically so this is exactly what will be created but we'll be creating it for another character which i have yeah we'll be creating for this dude yeah so we're going to be like doing everything from the beginning to the end together so there is a part where we'll be creating the blend shapes and there's another part where we'll be creating this ui that you see here and there's another part where we'll be probably we'll be writing some simple uh mail code uh maya embedded language you know code to to like make things faster i think we'll probably go an approach where we use just normal uh, uh direct approach and then we'll try uh, another approach where we we'll use code to just drive things and you know get it faster so that's like the introduction there and before i uh start the whole thing there's something i wanted to like put across which is the, the file management which is an essential uh part of the process uh of the 3d animation uh you have to know how to arrange your files and stuff especially when you are working with many people and you people have to have like a certain file path or arrangement pattern so that it will be easier for you to be able to like you know sort files and stuff like that look for maybe for you know in the maya scene you have like different things that you have to reference to or import or attach or whatever so you have the textures sometimes you have images that you use for uh for so many things so there's a way 
you have to like put them in a particular folder that you know that will enable you to be able to access them you know right on time maybe on one click and, and so on so file management is very important so i'm going to like teach you uh, how to like do that with maya you can try with so many other software i think different software has its own uh, pattern of uh, file management but the one for maya is the one that i'm going to you know like teach you so in the next video that's exactly what we'll do to get our blend shape fissure rig uh, you know get started with so i'll see you guys uh later so uh if you like this and if you want more subscribe like and share god bless you